extra point. Hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And the lead drops from 34 down to 27. Here's Bosher to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now out come the Jags. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You don't always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of a team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to the stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. It looks way too easy right now. Two carries, two straight first down runs. The eyes are carrying the legs to the proper hole, but they're being created by an offensive line that has the leverage game going for them right now. Lower than the defensive front, creating space, and he's finding it in a big way. Gotta love what they're doing on offense right now. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. The triangle fullback will handle. And yes, everyone, that was the fullback carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people, but I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body, let him plow forward just like he did there. It's still a big man's game. down carry and they'll bring him down after just a short pickup and Duke Riley will get credit for the tackle run blitz there defensively something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter I think we'll see a lot of it and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz pass blitz just trying to get to the quarterback You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground in a run blitz they're actually trying to cover up gaps trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Portals to the former Jets, Safarian Jenkins for the Jags' first down. A handoff to Fournette. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. 
That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And he's brought down. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Well, partner, I know this.